Alafia, Mburubwem, Mburuboshe from Baba Ilegua's channel. This is your host, Tiwori Ogunda. Um, something I want to talk to you about. Somebody left me a comment or an email saying, well, I met somebody who said they practice traditional Ifa, and when I went there to get initiated, my ceremony only lasted two days, and, uh, um, you know, there was only like one or two people there, and... And they were doing all kind, you know, stuff and chanting in other names of deities, like Buddha and stuff like this. Okay, this is not uncommon. This is called fraud. Okay, um, number one, if somebody's gonna put a label behind their ile as traditional ifa then they should practice traditional ifa you know what i mean it you don't now if you're one of these types of persons who likes to mix and merge and you know wiccan and santeria and voodoo all in one big ball and that's the way you want to do your thing that's fine do what you got to do but the thing is when you start putting up signs that say you know i or we initiate in a traditional Ifa way, traditional Palo Mayombe way, traditional Cariocha way. <laughs> well, then, you know, certain things need to be done. If you're going to do it traditionally, like you're saying. Now, if you're not, well, then don't say you're going to do it traditionally. Just so people hear the word traditionally Ifa and go flocking to you. And then you take their money and... Then people are emailing me telling me how this happened. That is not traditional ifa. Traditional ifa, you'll in a ceremony like this. Let me tell you one thing. Especially if you're paying thousands of dollars, five thousand dollars. If you're gonna get initiated into Santo, and um, I'm not saying it has to be a big old party, but there's gonna be more than three people there. If you're paying five grand, six grand, eight grand to get crowned santo, you know, certain things are going to get done. You know, you shouldn't come out um, with this. Lots of things that I can't get into too much detail, but people go around saying, oh, well, we do it traditionally. And they put up these websites or they go around trying to preach to people or trying to reel people in because they don't have no knowledge whatsoever of the uh, Ifa or Isha worship or practice and they take their money and then bam and then people are like well damn I feel so bad this and that I got ripped off you know it happens don't let that um don't let that af uh, affect your faith because you went there and believe me God Olodumari um, Chango whoever your guardian Orisha is they see they saw how long it took for you to scrape up that money and to put it in those people's hands. They saw your intention. They saw everything. And believe me, it will be made right. Something will pan out for you. It won't just be, oh, you know what I mean? That's just pisses me off so much because that's what people do. They go and say, you know, yeah, we're traditional house or, oh, we do this and then, they don't do nothing traditional. I hear some of the stories and the things I've seen with my own eyes. You know, people getting initiated into Santeria in two days. People um, coming back with these cute little things or whatever. And they're saying, oh yeah, well, Ifa and Santeria has changed into a new time. And okay, that's fine. If that's how you want to practice, cool. But don't say you're doing traditional Ifa because that's not traditional Ifa. If that's the case, you know what I mean? Make sure you tell people, hey, well, this is a reformed um, uh, version of Ifa. You know, this is how we do things. And if you're not comfortable, well, then I suggest you find an initiation somewhere else. Because that's not cool. People don't know what they're doing. They're putting their destiny in your hands. You know, and 
another thing. People telling me stuff like, Oh, I received the Eleques through the mail. I received Mano de Orula through the mail. I received um, my, uh, how do you say, um, my uh, Ángel de la Guardia I found out through the mail. I got my Guerreros through the mail. Okay, again, if they're practicing some kind of reformed, new-aged mixture of mysticism and all this stuff, sounds about right. But if they're saying that they're traditional Practicing traditional, that stuff does not work. That does not fly. If you go to a traditional babalao and you tell him, Oh, well, I'm not going to be able to make it, but you could just send me my hand of ifa through the mail. Nah, you know, uh, all the important things that you have to go through, through the, you know, the the initiation process, your ache, your, your, your aura, all this stuff, you know what I mean? That is very important, and but people don't know. Another thing, um, people who think, you know, okay, well, I got my Guerreros, and I got my Elegua, and I'm going to start, you know, I'm initiated. I'm initiated into uh, Santo, and, I, you know, this, this, and that. Um, no, those things are not to be taken like that. I'm going to make a part two. I'll be right back.